Hey, I'm Adam, and I have just spent a week here in Soldotna, Alaska, on the Kenai River, uh, fishing for sockeye salmon. And before I came, I didn't know anything about flossing or how to catch these sockeye salmon. Um, and there's not a ton of information on how to do it. So um, here is a little instructional for anyone just coming up here trying to figure out what's going on before you get here. So if you don't know anything about sockeye salmon, they don't eat baits. Like you can't throw a worm out there and catch one. You can't throw a minnow, you can't throw a spinner bait, whatever. Um, what you're doing, the sockeye migrate up this river from the ocean to their spawning grounds and they won't eat. They eat like plankton and stuff. Krill in the ocean. So we can't replicate that. So what, what they're doing, they're migrating up this river in thousands. I think there's 87,000 sockeye that passed through the sonar in front of this dock um, this morning. So they're coming up here in thousands and they're all swimming with their mouths open like this. So what you're doing is you're taking 40 pound monofilament mainline. I use a nine foot, nine weight sage, almost broke it, nine foot, nine weight sage uh, fly rod. You can use a long conventional rod, you can use a long spinning rod, whatever. Um, they're just more fun on a fly rod. So a 40 pound mono is my main line, hooked to a swivel with a clip. The swivel you hook your main line to, and then you put a 30 pound leader, fluorocarbon or mono leader, um, to that, and then clip, a, we use a half ounce weight here, but you could adjust it based on the current, whatever. Half ounce what's, is what everyone's been using lately. Um, down to a snail hook, I'm using a two watt, a two watt gamakatsu or eagle claw, um, octopus hook um, snailed some people will put a little bead above it some people a little craft fur I think by law you have to put a little something on there just so you're not technically snagging but you are snagging what you're doing those fish are swimming upstream you're doing what's called the keen eye flip or, or just flossing so you're flipping that line out next to you pointing downstream pointing your body downstream flipping the line out perpendicular to the water letting it drift down and when it gets to about a 45 degree angle you sweep that rod back and flip again 99 times out of 100 your bite comes when you sweep that rod to make another cast so you're throwing out there you'll feel that sinker tumble down 45 degree angle below you sweep flip again and your bite will come as you're sweeping you'll that line comes across the fish's mouth hooks it so you're snagging that fish there the law say you're not allowed to snag the way they get around it is to put that little bead or piece of fur on there and call it not snagging they call it flossing but it's fucking snagging a fish so you'll swing set the hook on that fish and then all hell breaks is that fish jumps goes crazy one of the best fights you'll ever have in your life um i got my wife hooking one and landing on video here i'll include it this isn't a video that's supposed to be some big polished production it's just something to let people see what it's supposed to look like to floss. So here it is. Have fun. Catch a shit ton of these sockeye. Hope you enjoy it. Bye. Big one. Yeah. 